Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new around here. Today we are watching Moist Astral or maybe not because there are rumours of him being replaced on Moist. He is set to be replaced um, by Oli on Moist. Um, now yesterday's video obviously featured Alpha um, but we did see Joyo and Oli on the same team against Alpha. So this probably maybe further confirms the rumours to be true. Um, Joyo and Oli have been playing together in ranked so it's looking to be likely that yeah astral is going to be dropped from moist which for me is a bit of a shock because um astral has shown some really good performances on moist okay moist as a whole haven't been performing very well lately um i think you know maybe there's a bit of a um a clash in terms of play style between a couple of players and mostly i would say probably astral and joyo um, I have noticed since Astral was joined that Joyo hasn't looked himself as in um, his sort of playstyle. He's, he's probably had to do a bit more defensive work. Um, and maybe that's not what he wants to do. Maybe he doesn't like that. And that's why they're bringing in probably a more defensive player, um, it's fair to say, in Oli. Um, who was earlier on in the season harshly dropped from Oxygen. Um, although... You, know, you can't really blame Oxygen for, for picking up Rise or wanting to pick up Rise. But yeah, Oli has now found himself, or what looks like, it's still rumours, it's not confirmed, but it looks like he's going to be finding himself a new home and replacing Astral. So what's next for Astral? What do you guys think is next for Astral? I mean, there's there's definitely going to be opportunities for him. You can't not have someone like Astral uh, playing in RLCS. For me, he is um, definitely good enough to be in RLCS. I mean... This is a ranked game, but he's already scored four goals in the space of just over a minute, um, comfortably as well. But yeah, a player like Astral, you know, you need him in RSS. You need him in RSS. So there's avenues for him. Um, I've seen a few people say mention Solary. I don't know because he has teamed with. That's a wide open net miss from Fruity. He is going to convert the second one though. But I've seen people say Solary. He has teamed with uh, Shellset and Kadop before, I believe. Am I right in saying that? Um, no, he's teamed with... Yeah, has he? Oh, I don't know. Now I'm confused. Anyway, he's teamed with at least one of those players on that team before. And I don't know if it's going to be to his liking. Um, I don't, it didn't work out before. So why would... I don't think like... I feel like Astral is someone that wouldn't want to go back uh, to where he's been. Well, he's not been to Solary, but teaming with players that haven't worked out in the past, right? Um... So I don't know if that is going to be the case there. Um, I don't believe he can break into any of the top five teams because I don't think any of them teams are going to be looking to move any of their players around. Obviously not Calming Corp. Liquid, no. Definitely not. Oxygen, no. They've secured their roster. Um, yeah, I, it's hard to say at this moment. BDS, prop, no. I mean, it'd be silly for BDS to make a roster change even though they're not performing. They are the reigning champions, you know. They can't be talking about roster changes just yet for me uh, at least for BDS so where do you think Astro's next home will be in, in Rocket League will he join a team before the end of this season um, likely I don't know how low he would go though that's the thing you know, how far down would he go in terms of team rankings and what kind of team would he join would he go really low down I don't know I for me, Astral's too good to be looking too low down. Um, he should be on a top tier top tier team. And he should probably be the main man as well. Almost getting that save there. Not quite though. Uh, from Astral. And a little comeback is mounting here for the blue team. Um, but yeah. Let me know in the comments below where you think Astral's next home. Where you think his next home would be best suited for him. Um, I don't really know, honestly. I'm, I'm Solary is probably the obvious one, I guess especially for language as well but it's hard to say it's really hard to say i don't think i think astral's going to be looking maybe the team of some more up and coming younger players i think that's probably his next best move the problem is a lot of the teams with the best young players are their, their rosters are secure you know they're not probably not going to make any roster changes so he's going to struggle there to find a team with some young guns on it um but yeah again a player with Astral or Astral, the player, the ability that he has in this game, the mechanics he has, just everything really, um, and the ability to carry a team, which we've seen him do for Moist, um, 
Not reading that one too well there though. That is a double from the blue team and that is all square. But yeah, we've seen him put Moist in the bag sometimes on his back. Um, and pretty much win series on his own. Um, we saw that at the full major. Don't get me wrong, Moist as a whole played well, but Astral was just blindingly good um, at the full major. So it's going to be a shame to see him leave and Moist, of course. He wasn't ever very long and I quite liked the fact that he joined Moist, but ever since the beginning I always thought him and Joyo did clash a little bit on the pitch uh, in terms of their playstyle. I could be wrong in saying that, that's just speculation. Joyo might disagree, um, Astral might disagree. That's just from what I've seen as a viewer. So Astral's next team is going to have to be something that suits him. Um, I think he's going to have to be the main man and it's something that's going to have to suit him. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, he was very good on Kami Corp. That team suited him very well. It's a shame Kami Corp made the decision to change the team at the time. Everyone thought they were mad. Clearly we were all wrong because they are, they are the best team in the world now. So I can see why they did it, obviously. Use Itachi as their main man and build a team around him. Why not? Anyway, this game is 5 all now. Still all square after that double tap from the blue team. And oh, Astral has nicked the ball here, or oh, almost getting through on a 1v1, but he does get demoed before he can make any more progress there. And now the blue team are coming forward with an attack. It's a great pass and a great shot to the top shelf. And now as drawn through, you find themselves a goal down with only 10 seconds remaining here. We're going to see what they can do to get themselves back into this game, if they can. That's a good demo from Fruity and a solid kickoff. It's open net. Momentarily, Astro's going for the double and he gets it. Of course he gets it. It's not defended by the blue team. He was very close to getting a touch on the ball, but Astral just getting enough on the ball to get it past the first man on the blue team and tying this game back up with only a second remaining here. Can Astral keep the ball up? Yes, he can. Fruity's up for it very quickly. It's going to be a shot and that is game. It doesn't go to overtime. Great place from Astral there to keep the ball up right at the end there and for Fruity to stick around in the play and trust his teammate to get a good pass, which he does. And there we have it. 6-7, or 7-6 seven, I should say, to the orange team in this game. Astral with five goals. 876, or 867 score for Astral. 834 for Fruity as well. Actually, the other team having 800 each. So a lot of high scores all around here in this game. We do have one more replay today, so we're going to go ahead and watch that now. Okay, second replay and final replay on board with Astral, of course, here in Neo Tokyo. And that is going to be a kickoff for the blue team, but they do give it away immediately to Astral, who has taken good control of the ball here. He does get blocked, but it recovers so well off the ceiling. Look how fast he's moving here. He wants that goal. Not quite getting it, though, unfortunately, despite his efforts. And that's the thing with Astral. Actually, they do get the goal out of it in the end. They do both stick around in the play here. I do Astral and his teammate. That's the thing with Astral. When you think he's been bumped out of the play, or something like that, his recovery, his recoveries in general, are so quick. Um, and you gotta have good good mechanics to, to have recoveries like that. So, yeah, I made a video the other day about Joyo being the most mechanical player in the game. I still stick by that, but Astral is up there as well, believe me. Uh, this guy can do some insane stuff. Um, good first touch. He's gonna go low with it instead. Not quite getting underneath the first man there, but it is gonna be a goal. Nonetheless, Astral starting off the attack once again, keeping the ball in play, in dangerous play, and his teammate moving in quite well there once again just to spot the opening and get the second goal of this game. Renshiro is the man on Astral's team and he has himself two goals in this game and I believe two assists from Astral yeah there we go almost a goal from Astral there almost chipping it into the far post or the inner far post I should say a decent back pass from Renshiro Astral does just about get the ball he's gonna go for a double off the sidewall almost on target from Astral that would have been something special if that goes in but he is scrambling back now his teammate probably pushing forward a little bit too much, a little bit too quickly there, not allowing Astral to get back in time before that attack occurred. And now they do win the kickoff here, the orange team, Astral off the ceiling, he's going to go for a musty fake, he faked me out, went low with it, popped it back up into the net. Unbelievable plays from Astral. To think on the spot like that, and such, well, while moving so quickly, uh, is special stuff. I wonder how or when he thinks he's going to do that, or when he knows that he's going to fake that play. Did he know it on the sidewall? Or did he know it already up in the air on the ceiling? I'd love to know um, that sort of thing. I'd love to know their thought process. And are they just, are these pros just thinking it up on the spot, quite literally, whatever their thumbs and fingers are doing, they're just going to do it? Who knows? It's a question that I would like to know the answer to one day. Um, 
Maybe it's different for all pros. It probably is, honestly. I think some pros probably just think on the spot, and that's the best way to play without even actually thinking, to be fair. It's probably the best way to play um, at this level because if you're thinking about it too much, at any level, to be fair, any rank, um, most of the time you're going to make mistakes, right? So that's a good block from Astral there. Well, I say that. It was going to go to his teammate, but his teammate did wait a little bit too long for that one. Astral's back to save this, though, before that shot can go in. Gets himself a little bit of boost, flicks it over to his teammate on the far post, who does get a good shot off in the top right, and Astral just makes sure that one goes in and dunks it over the line past the final defender on the blue team. Great plays uh, from Astral and his teammate here, Renshiro. And now it's 4-1 in this game, and a good kickoff win again. Astral with a similar play to before. This time he does take the immediate shot. He's going to go for the bump, or not quite getting it. Very close, though. The ball was going in on target. That time it is going in, though. No one there to defend it this time around, and... 5-1 in this game for Astro and his teammate. They are absolutely dominating here. And we're not even halfway through. We are just about halfway through now. And yeah, absolute domination so far. Can they keep this game closed out? Astro and Fruity were, of course, 5-1 up in the last replay. And they ended up 6-5 down with 10 seconds remaining. They did win the game. Um, but yeah, let's see if they can keep the lead in this game. Looking like more so they probably will. The blue team haven't really had many opportunities. And that's going to be 6-1. And I think that is going to be a forfeit. There it is. Astral with a hat-trick there right at the end. His teammate also picking up a hat-trick. And the players on the other team, I didn't realise, actually were on very high ping. But yeah, Astral with three goals, three assists, two save, five shots. Easy for him and his teammate. They actually linked pretty well in this game. So fair play to them. And that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed and you haven't liked the video yet, then please do consider doing so. And subscribe to the channel as well. I would really appreciate it. It really does help the channel grow. Helps keep me motivated. Helps me understand what you guys are enjoying. Um, soon, I will be doing some gameplay of my own. I've not done that yet on this channel. So you're going to watch me make an absolute fool of myself in Ranked when I do my placement matches. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you all very soon.